And then came the rough, the rough truth. It's also a very big project. How did you select the tunes, and how did you did did your workflow go? Uh, well, we started really with more a kind of concept of sound, but n n the first like six, seven, eight tracks were not even drum and bass. Um, but I think that kind of scared Marcus Intellects at Solar. But I think that helped us forge the sound that created the album. Um, the track selection, uh, we probably had three quarters of the album done within about a year, really. And then the last um, year of writing was very slow in terms of selecting tracks. We sort of wrote a whole new batch of songs and only selected really three or four. So in essence, the album was done in a year, um, but it was just a few tracks were changed at the last minute. Um, things like semitones were the new tracks for the album um, and a few tracks were taken off so um, yeah it was a long process and we got to collaborate with a lot of really cool artists so we were both like really happy with it. Yeah collaborations are quite popular in drum and bass for about I don't know three four years. There are very nice collaborations on the album with Henry and Tally and others but you also collaborated with New Tone. For me, the one that you done with New Tone, it's, you know, it's like one of the the biggest moments of, of, of your collaborations. Okay, cool, yeah. Uh, the track with New Tone, it was, I don't know, we finished that very quick. We I uh, went up to his place in Cambridge um, and we probably spent five hours on the song. Uh, nearly finished, I took away the song, added some elements, sent it back to New Tone. He finished a few little bits off and it was done very quickly, so yeah, it was a very easy track to write, really. No pain involved. Yeah, Newton is no pain person, probably, or... Yeah, yeah, he's really good to work with, actually. He's absolutely unbelievable on the piano. He's really phenomenal, good person to work with. Another step on your path is uh, Detail. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's my new label, um, just set up. Uh, the first release is with me and Chemo, track called Keep It Low. Um, and a track called Banging Arcs on the other side. Um, yeah, we've got like four remixes of it as well. So if people are into dubstep or house or breaks or hip hop, wonky hip hop kind of sound, there's different mixes of the A side, Keep It Low. Um, we've also got a music video done that we're really happy with, um, directed by a guy from Vancouver, uh, Sterling Hash, is it? Yeah, he's, he's done an amazing video for us. So. Um, yeah, we, we're really happy with it, yeah. Another thing about your artist life is making it live, you know, as a DJ, as an MC. And Pat Martini once said that he's trying to feel the audience as he was sitting amongst the audience and serve the notes yeah, yeah. which the audience would like to hear. What, what is your attitude towards the audience? Um, well, for me, it's like... I think uh, just kind of see where the sets go each time. I mean, w there's certainly a core group of tracks that I'll always play because they're like my new material. Um, but it's kind of a way of weaving that into how the crowd are rising and falling with their moods, really. And you? Um, well, I don't, I don't select the music, fortunately. Um, or unfortunately for me, um, I, j you know, I'm not a hype man. I don't, I don't tell jokes. I, I don't smile for pictures. It's just, I, I just, I kind of celebrate the music kind of like as if I was in the crowd. You know what I mean? Like I, I bounce around sometimes I'm, sometimes I do pull a joke, but not cause I'm meant to, but cause there's a funny moment. But uh, I just try to ride the music a little bit, you know what I mean? And just, just get get into it rather than be on top of it. You know what I mean? I think that's really important. And, and, and the best gigs, I think, are when the music, me, the crowd, and the evening in general, and everything just comes together in like one, and it all becomes like one thing in its un entirety and that that's inseparable and those are the moments where i just truly love what i do and i'm grateful yeah we're grateful too so maybe some words for the future what do you, what are your plans are you going to continue uh, this 
I would say, minimal style. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure uh, for the future that sound will carry on with what I'm doing. Um, I'm trying all sorts of stuff at the moment, so it's not just like the kind of minimal drum and bass. Um, I'm just kind of doing every kind of flavour at the moment. Um, so yeah, uh, the unpredictability should be what's exciting about the future of detail recordings and what I'm doing and what me and Chemo are doing, really. But still full on with the drum and bass. Okay, and you, uh, any nice trips to other sides of the music from drum and bass? Um, yeah, I just featured on you know Break Kids' foundation album. I d I'm currently working with uh, Calix and TB as well. Uh, did a thing for A sides. I'm kind of all over the place at the minute. Uh, my favorite's always Lynx, just because he's my favorite producer. Uh, stepping outside of drum and bass, I have a new project that I'm kickstarting right now. That's that's a bit too early to talk about, but it's. Um, it's gonna go into a very different direction but still have um still have uh me in it you know what i mean okay i think you said enough thank you for the music and we hope we'll have all good time tonight Cheers, yeah, I'm sure we will.